Now, it says after that the Holy Ghost has come on you, you're going to receive some power. Now, it didn't say when the Holy Ghost has come upon you, you're going to get some power. Why? <laughs> come on. Why? Because it's it only down. after yeah. you get the Holy, Holy Ghost, Ghost be because the Bible it. is spiritually discerned. Come on. So you can't understand the concepts of God except you got the Holy Ghost. Come on. So the Holy Ghost will open things up to you. Revelation. It will reveal some Revelation. things to you that you would not know in your natural yes. man. Yes, Revelation. But once you get the Holy Ghost, then the Holy Ghost is going to lead you and guide you into all truth. That's it. What is truth? God's, God's word. God's word. So when the Holy Ghost leads you and guides you into God's word, then you're going to begin to understand some things you that you would not have ordinarily God. understood. Yeah. And because you now understand it, now you got some power. Yeah. yeah. You got power to walk right. I, and I looked that thing up. But that ain't scripture, but it's the Can truth. You, you got power to walk down. right. You got you power to talk Facebook. right. Power to live right. That's why the enemy taught you so. Yeah. Everyone. The Bible said. Every heart knows his own bitterness. Yeah. That's yeah. it. We Where do. I might struggle with this, you struggle with that. You better say Whatever that. Whatever your struggle is, baby, don't think it's strange. God, why you put this on me? God didn't put it on you, but he allowed it to be so because he got something for you to do. Yeah. Come on, preacher. He got an assignment for you. Come on, preacher. Don't think that it's strange because this thing keep on coming up in your sha na na no. It ain't coming up in your sha na na, baby. It's coming up in your flesh. Yeah. Just keep it real. It's coming up in your flesh. That's where you struggle at. But there is no weapon that is formed against you that is able to prosper. And you know why the thing seems like it's going to grab you and take you under? Because you keep on concentrating on it. There you go. You keep on focusing on that thing. Yes. But why? Because it's in your flesh. And, and as you continue to focus on that thing that's do dominating, really is dominating your flesh because you haven't brought it under subjection there you go. to the spirit of the Holy you Ghost. You better say it now. Amen. Uh -oh. The spirit of God is what keeps that thing at bay. Yeah. But if you don't pull that, because God is a gentleman. He's not going to, he'll kick the door open he'll for you, open. Uh -huh. but he ain't going to kick it open on you. Yes. Yes. So he's not going to make you do nothing. Willing. But he'll give you everything. He already said, I'm giving you all things, all things. pertaining to life and, and godliness. godliness. Yeah. Yeah. You know what that means? That means in life, uh -huh. when you're struggling in your flesh, God already giving you the, 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 the key, the answer yeah, the to overcome yeah, that the thing. Victory, the victory. To godliness, because when you don't feel like getting down there to pray, when you don't feel like fasting, <laughs> he's already giving you all things that you need in order to make that thing come under subjection yeah. to your spirit, yeah. to the Holy Spirit. Say it. He's already given them that. But it's about whether or not you gonna yield to it. Who oh, glory? That's all right. All right, let's go. Take your time, baby. Go into the book of. Let's go to the book of Second Peter, the first uh, chapter of Second Peter. We treat you, Amen. So if I get a little teachy, y'all bear with me. Because I need you to understand something. Because as Pastor said earlier, time is winding up. Yeah. And as time winds up, we know that there are things that are released from the depth yeah. by the enemy. That devil but guess what? Yeah. God has already given us all things yeah. pertaining to life and godliness. and godliness. So there is nothing that can be released from the depth that can overcome you. Sorry, Because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the... That's not just a, a cliche or a scripture. That's the word. That's for real. That's the yeah. word of God. Yeah. Greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Yeah. My God. Look. Second Peter chapter number one. Whereby... Begin at verse number... Um, let's begin at verse number three. Amen. According as his divine power has given unto us all things pertaining to life and godliness... Through the knowledge of him that has called us to glory and virtue, whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises, that by these ye might be partakers of his divine nature. Look at that, his divine nature. You're going to be a partaker of his divine nature. And we know that everything after the book of Acts is written to the church. So once we come into the church, into the body of Christ, that's written to us. The rest of that stuff is up to us. That's right. And that's why you want to know why the, the world, why they act like this, that, and the other. And they don't line up with, with uh, uh, 
uh, what is one of them books? It's First John. They ain't lying. I with John. First John. Baby, yes. they ain't in the church. There you go. We in the church. Yeah. Talk to so them. So we have a responsibility and an obligation to obey the things that 